Hi everybody, it's me Angie. I'm back again. How are you doing? Um, I've come on to um, show you my entry for Evie. She's doing her 100 subby challenge and she would like a wall hanging and the specifications are 5 inches by 8 inches long at the biggest and she likes fairies, flowers, elves and she likes the styles vintage or shabby chic and she wants it in soft pastel colours so um, this is my entry to Evie's uh, 100 subby challenge so I've gone along the lines of um, a vintage let's lift this up a bit because I can't, don't think you can get it all in so yeah this is my um, entry so what I did was um, this is the back I covered it the back with a, a cotton trim applique and um, I put lots and lots of pearls on it just to because these had like little holes in so I covered them covered them all up and then I put some dangles on there dingle dangles and then some applique on the back that I cut with some pearly bits on yeah so these these are already on the the bit of material it's just like little little applique flowers with st uh, little crystals and then on the front what I did was I did the shabby chic um I covered it in I think I covered it in felt I'm trying to think yeah covered it in felt and then I put this uh a lace over it a piece of cotton and some lace and then I did um let's have a look I did trim around the edge here and I did it at the back as well pearl trim down and then I did uh, a, an arrangement of I kept it very very um very vintage colors because I liked it it's pleasing to my eye so I did a collection of flowers here which are paper and some are silk and there's little pearly bits on them and on the the dangles it, as you can see I put these dangles on and what I did with them is and in every flower I put a flat back pearl and then on the ends of the little flowers I did um, little little demontes they're like um, what would you call it bicone whatever it is and then on the the ends of the every little thing I put some stickles so yeah so that's the trim I love love the trim and then we got the flowers and then I did a captured fairy so it's a little picture of a fairy I got off of um, graphic 45 um, painted the frame which was white in um, antique white I did a little vine here coming down of leaves off an applique with some stickles um, that come out really nice dotted some flat back pearls around and then I made my own um, interpretation of a flower which is the uh, some cream lace and then some lace which was used on here and then um, some beautiful, what is it? It's like sparkly lace that was sent to me by Siobhan. Thank you, Siobhan. And I tucked a little tiny bit in there. She put it on the bottom, bottom of her packaging, so I cut, it, I cut it off because I had to throw the packaging out. And then there's a little applique on the, on, in there and a, a sort of like, I think it's a creamy sort of pearl there. And then on the top, I did a uh, ribbon, and some what's that called cotton 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 oh cotton trim we'll call it and some lace and I just um, entwined it sort of threaded it like in a plait and then attached it to the hanging so that's the wall hanging for Eve I hope she likes it and also I did her a what have I done with that I altered the box for if I can find it. What have I done with that? Hold on a minute, I'll find it. So I did, I altered a box for you as well, Evie. It is just a, a, an ordinary craft box which I painted white and then I used a paper napkin that's been sent to me by Anna Lorenko, um, which was a beautiful Paris one. And so I decoupaged it onto the box. Then I added some cream roses, which were foam and some paper ones. And then I just sort of dyed them up and shabbed them up a bit and put a bit, little bit of twine there. And um, the box might not be finished yet. I'm not sure. Oh, I did um, the edges as well with some 
walnut stain and some black soot. So yeah, so I did that all around the edges as well of the box. So I should be filling that with a few little trinkets, some bits and pieces. So yeah, so the box might not be finished, but that's all as far as I've got for now. So yeah, so that's my entry to Evie's 100 Subby Challenge. Um, yeah, if you, um, I'll, I'll put a link in the description box to Evie's channel. Uh, go along, subscribe and join in with the fun. It's free. As uh, Rosie Posey would say, so on her channel she says it's it's free and it is. So yeah, um, I hope you like it, Evie, and I'll be popping into the post soon. Evie comes from Greece, um, she's a lovely lady, and um, I'm really looking forward to her receiving her wall hanging from me. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll speak to you all later. Bye for now. Bye bye bye.